just making my way into the game now. I've left something in my car, so I've just had to knit back. Um, so yeah, last match day of the league against York. A uh, big game, really, because I think we've got to lay down the law. I think we, we need to see a good, good win, good reaction. Um, been a great season for us, let's be honest. Uh, we, we should really be finishing today's game on 109 points. As disappointing as that is, that we're not getting uh, some promotion from that. You've got to take a lot of pride of him because we'll probably never see, I'll probably confidently say, uh, we'll never see a season like that again. Um, as not tons. Because uh, it's just, the heights are unbelievable and the quality that we've seen this season. Um, but yeah, team news is out. It's a little bit late to start today. I've had a busy day. Um, it looks like a strong team. Uh, probably not too dissimilar to something that we'd see for the playoffs, maybe a handful of changes in it, well, one or two changes in there maybe. Um, but I like that. I like that Williams has done that because it sort of sets the precedent. Um, so yeah, gonna go in now. Kickoff's in about 15 minutes. So I've got my pace up. Um, so yeah, cash up with top. Final home game of the season then, it's York. It doesn't mean anything in terms of league position, but it does for momentum in my opinion. We need to get the victory. I am so over not winning the league. I, I can't tell how excited I am for next Sunday. We'll see today, will it be um, Barnet against Bournemouth Ward or Barnet against Bromley? Massive to see who we get. And uh, I think the games on Wednesday night, I'll be looking forward to watching that. Very, very strong side, uh, which, is, uh, which is just, yeah, exactly what I expect from Luke Williams. Go into that playoffs with the momentum. You're also, if you can hear the background, massive, massive following. Good on them. What a goal, Macca, one in our stand up for finish. It's been coming all game. York have not really done anything. It's all been nuts. One nil. It's half time then. Langstaff gets a lovely, lovely goal, to be fair. Uh, just before half time. I think that's what we needed, you know, they were frustrating as I thought in that first half. Uh, Mark Ellis playing fairly well. Um, Mark Ellis playing? I don't know, as you know. Yeah, I think he is, yeah. It, well, it looks like it, and he does play for York, so I hope it is it. Yeah. I'm going to look that. No, but yeah, they're not offering a lot. Um, they're offside a lot. <laughs> I genuinely, I, I, uh, I turned my head to the left to look at them attacking once in the whole half. They're, they're just, their season's done, isn't it? The season's yeah. completely finished. Yeah. Um, all we've got now is the second half to navigate, no injuries, touch wood, and then see what the other results come in and then see who we who can finish having the playoff. Yeah, hopefully a big win though, just to just set that level. So uh, yeah, big second half will come in. One more late on, they've had nothing all game. I think it's Shaq Ford, I learned from Watford scores. One one, bit of a damage at the end of this season, but we've played exactly how we played all season. Uh, just been punished, they've been good in goal. No, okay, God keeps me good. Uh, yeah, disappointing, but it is what it is. Game's finished then. It's going to be different to what we usually do. No fans on this time. We're going to have that throughout the week. Um, obviously, we've got the Aaron Man um, video tomorrow night. So that's going to be premiering at 7. But let's, let's just talk about the game first of all and then the season on a whole. I think we've got a bit of different perspective on the game. It meant nothing, realistically, other than momentum. We drew 1-1. Shaq Ford coming on for them and scoring. Um, we should have been out of sight. We hit the post. Their keeper gave his life without a doubt. Some fantastic saves. I thought it was a good performance. I thought on another day it was four or five goals to the good. I know we weren't, but for me, get it out of your system now. Yeah, I mean, there's obviously two ways of looking at it for me. Um, obviously, you, you look at the league table. What did we finish on? 107 Seven. points. That's ridiculous. And we're not won the league. We're not even got promotion it's it's awful not yet anyway um but yeah i thought we did really well controlling possession today uh, we had some really good chances like you said their keeper phenomenal um but it just concerns me that we concede like that again like, it's just that high line isn't it and let's get it straight your your poor that, that like they were a shade away from being relegated um so we can't get that twisted um yeah it, it, it does concern me a little bit look we've had an amazing season i was saying this to jordan earlier because he, he was sat near me in the game we, we will never in our lifetime see Knotts get 107 points ever again. It might not ever happen ever again. Um, so the credit has got to go to, to the, the staff and the players because they've had a fantastic season. Um, but purely on the game today, it's just, I don't know, like a little bit disappointed because you look at the lineup, when the lineup comes out, it's full strength. You know, that, that's a similar team that you'd be expecting to see in the playoffs. I think it is the team. It yeah, you're probably right. It probably is the team that we're going to see, you know, on Sunday. Um, 
so you know you're kind of hoping for a big win I, I sort of said it in the week and yeah that the keeper didn't you know the keeper made it difficult for us with, with some good saves but you just sometimes you gotta have the answers aren't you and I don't know I, I don't want to be too downbeat but it's just we for me it was a, a big game today in terms of if that is the team that's going into playoffs it took a bit bit of a knock I think see I'm, I'm completely disagree I, I think no matter who you are no matter the mentality that Luke Williams instills into the players <coughs> it's impossible to have the same mentality it's yeah. impossible like part of your in part part of your brain is thinking we need to we need to keep our energy for next week. Part of it's players probably thinking, I don't want to get injured. And when Mako went down, my heart was in my mouth, if I'm honest. You're thinking, let's not get players injured. So I just, I genuinely think that, that there's so many different, like so many different things that, that could be going through the players' heads. Drawn 1 1, putting a performance up until their goal. I think you'd, I would have left that. Ha would you have left it happy if we finished 1 0? Yeah, yeah, because we like, we say we've had chances that Keeper had. Um, but that's not what I'm unhappy about. I'm, I'm happy that we had those chances. I'm happy we scored. I'm just disappointed that we've... And it was the one chance they had and they buried it. But it's happened again, hasn't it? Do you know what I mean? Um, it's that similar sort of frailty that we've seen when we have conceded goals that I think a team in the playoffs might be able to exploit a little bit better. That's why it concerns me. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. But I genuinely... Um, that doesn't, doesn't really bother me at all. I mean, we might both have different perspectives at the end of the season. Um, we might have different perspectives at the end of the season, but you never know. Um, so looking ahead to the playoffs then, um, it looks like it's going to be Borenwood or Barnet. Bromley drew 1-1 against Oldham. So which of those sides would you rather take? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Who would who, who you go for? This might come out to back me. 100% Borenwood on paper. Barnet have the players to go over the top and in behind, exactly like York did and exactly like Wrexham did. They have Carnu, they have, um, what's his name, that scored those 20-odd goals for them this season. They have players that can do that. Boreham Wood don't concern me in that same sense. Yeah, I mean, for, for me, I, I don't know. Boreham Wood do worry me. They, all the teams there worry me. Um, yeah, of course. They have the, Boreham Wood are the defensive team. If Boreham Wood go and get a goal here before we score, we've seen they're very hard to score against. Yeah, it's, it's the... the the difficulty is there for me to, to pick one. I, I I don't think I could. I think they're both difficult in their own ways. Um, I mean, we're talking about Boreham Wood. I'm, I'm sure it's Boreham Wood. I didn't finally see the full-time result in that, their game, but I think they did win. Yeah, but for, for me, Boreham Wood are a team that will be able to do pretty much similarly gonna have to have a check. that what York did um, to, to us today because they frustrated us for the first half. You know, our goal, we didn't really open them up. It just sort of fell lucky, really, for Langstaff. Uh so, you know, they frustrated us and then, you know, that moment when it, what the switch was on and, you know, they sort of threw on goal, they took it. I think Boreham would have got that in the locker. And for me, that's the teams that we've struggled against more this season. That, so probably Boreham would actually. Do you know what we've avoided? The Michael Cheek effect though. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, we, we always struggle against Bromley as well. But let, let's be real, like, we're going to struggle against teams that are in the playoffs. Well, in and around the playoffs anyway, so. Yeah. be interesting to see other people's feelings on it so let us know in the comments what you think about the obviously the performance today 1-1 one, one. I think we were I think we were value for a win um, but we'll let, let us know what you think in the comments um, we now go to Wednesday night I think it is or Tuesday or Wednesday night it's going to be uh, Barnet at home to Boreham Wood you'd expect Barnet to go in there as favourites possibly get the win but w you never know um, on the whole though let's finish with what I know we're not finished fully but what a season yeah, yeah. Let's say the league's finished today, hasn't it? Um, what, a, what a season it's been. Any other season, any other season, you know, we've won the league by a country mile. You know, you just got to look at the gap between us and, and third. It's massive. It's, it's above 20 points, isn't it? It might even be 25 points, which is just ridiculous. The quality that we've seen this season, relentlessly, game after game, um, it, it's, it's been phenomenal. Um, and our points per game average has just been obviously ridiculous as well. We've, we've been so good. Um, Langstaff, you know, what a player, great player, scoring so many goals. Matty Palmer, fantastic. You, you could go through all the players because they've all been good. But for me, they, they sort of made a few. And, and I've got to mention Cameron because I, I voted him for my player of the season. I think as a captain this season, he's been great. You can't underestimate what a captain has to do in a team like Knotts. You know, when you're going relentlessly 
you know, week in, week out to win games. The mentality has to be there and it has to be there all the time from the captain. So big credit to him. Yeah. Um, that takes us into a big, <laughs> what, eight days now until the playoff semi-final. We'll know, as I've already said, who it's going to be later on in the week. Um, we're going to have a fair few videos up between now and then. As I've said, the only main video um, is going to be out tomorrow evening. We've got the usual paper perspective and possibly another special video before that playoff semi-final. Just back to my car now. You know, a good day at the lane. Just a little bit disappointed with that goal at the end. Um, but, you know, now it's a, a little bit after the final whistle. Uh, I am looking forward to the playoffs, as we should be. Um, you know, a massive two games ahead for Knotts. Um, and you can't help but be, you know, confident. Uh, there's a little bit of a slip up in there. Um, we've seen it this season a few, very few times, but you, I just hope we don't see it in the playoffs uh, with our high line. Um, but we can't help but be, be positive and happy for the season that we've seen. Uh, so massive credit to, to Luke this season. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, please subscribe like and uh, comment what you thought of the game and your feelings going into the playoffs. Thanks for watching guys.